Hello everyone. So I had the idea to 3D print some cardboard connectors that would work for a food box cardboard. The three ducks connectors, they work for corrugated cardboard, um, but food box cardboard is a bunch thinner and it doesn't work on those because of the thickness. I measured several of the food boxes that I have and came up with about around 0.5, just over 0.5 millimeters for the thickness of the cardboard. So I went about to design some things that would hold that. Um, I couldn't decide on the, the, you know, which angle was the, the exact right angle, whether it be the 6120 or 45135. So I made um, both. Um, I wanted to print these for Christmas gifts, that STEM Christmas gifts for a whole bunch of families. I'm, I've been working with an organization, and they do uh, stuff every month, every day, actually, and every month. But then they've got you know, a big thing for Christmas. So I'm trying to figure out how to do this for 200 people, 200 families. Um, so the design is only the first part. Then is, you know, the, the, the printing, uh, you know, is you know harder now harder too um i've got two different printers going and i don't like how one's looking maybe i'm just using doing the wrong setting so if someone knows great how to you know dial in settings really well um let let me know some things uh give these a try i will show you how i design them and you can you know obviously then make your own better design probably because you know again i'm not the most genius about these in the world um, and probably a better software to do this in, but I like using Tinkercad because uh, it's so accessible to um, kids. So um, I went about designing this 181 first, and then everything is just pieces of that. Obviously, this is just two of them and flipped. This is, you know, cut a piece off and put it 90. All of these are basically cut a piece off of this and then duplicate it and add it together. So here's what we did. Uh, these are my numbers. 25 by 5 by 10 is the original um, size that I made. I think the three ducks are 30 by 7 um, and 10 millimeters. So there is the original spot. Now, again, my um, food box cardboard is 0.5. So I just want to make a 0.5 slot because um, there's some variations, obviously. So I was going to put some nubs or pegs in there too. So now I need to make a slot. And I decided on one millimeter. Um, it's got to be at least 25. Right? Because I made that 25. And the height of the hole doesn't matter. Then I align them. Uh, center, center. And group them. So now I've got that nice slot. Right? Okay. Um... But I want them, we want them to be held together, right? So I need to stick a solid piece in the middle there. Um, I could have just made the slot the exact like width that I wanted to, and then um, end justified it, kind of thing. End and center, end and center. You know, do it twice. Um, I, this is just this, the way I did it. Five by five by ten doesn't really matter if you just cut two sl slots out or cut one slot out and stick a, a center piece back. So again, center, center, group. So there is my 180. Now I'm going to put some little nubs or pegs in here. I'm going to use the, the roof, the, the round roof. Um, let's get it up 90 degrees. I'm going to use it like that. I went with um, two, no, I went with five, um, obviously 10, and then that dimension I went 2.4. 2.5, well, here's what I was doing. I'm sticking it on the, uh, yep, it did. Okay. So when I rotated it, it went below. Um, plate there we go so I'm sticking it on this side I'm going to justify it to that edge 
because I couldn't when I first made these. Um, and I'm going to use Justify to, to do this. I'm not going to try and manually put it there. Um, I couldn't figure out how to set it. Um, you know, make a really thin one, like 0.4 instead of 2.4, um, and set it right on the edge there. And while I was making this video, um, it just dawned on me. Um, why is it 2.4? Well, because this is 2 millimeters thick, and so is this side. Um, so 2.4 gets a stick less than halfway in. Could go two point, could try 3.3. Um, again, that, that gets down to design's only part of the deal is now 3D printing and the printers and the filament. You know, is 2.4, 2.3, is there even a, a, a difference there um, kind of thing? Uh, so that's for you to play with if you want. So, but I want with the 2.4 because I would justify it to be at that edge and be sticking in a little bit. How would I put it now, now again? I said I just figured out how to actually put it on. Whoops, where'd you go? It's this I'm playing with the centering. Man, come on. How would I actually now that what am I doing? This is what I want to do. How would I actually put it on this face? Now that I finally figured out how to actually just put it on this face. Um I would justify it to this corner and then I would walk it forward to millimeters because this is two millimeters thick. But we'll just go with the way I did it originally. So I need a few of these. Um, I need eight of them actually, eventually, because I'm putting two on each. So I want to justify and justify and then group. I'm going to put, first I'll put the first four out. Justify, justify, group. All right, so we got to rotate you um, 180, yeah, 180 degrees. And I might as well copy you. I don't know why all of a sudden they changed color to be the same color. Um, justify and justify. Oh, now here's something I did. I didn't want them directly op opposed to each other. Um, so I moved it. Actually, I think I only moved it half originally, but now I'm going to move it one millimeter. I think that'll get us... A, it'll allow... It'll allow more thickness to get in, I think. Um, so here we're going up to here. Justify, justify. So I'm offsetting it by a millimeter. Again, a millimeter is how thick? Not very thick, right? Okay, so I need to put these in. Because I wanted that many. This thing is going to hold better. And now I'm going to go um, one, two, three, four. I think I went three and a half before, but it's something to play with. Justify, justify, yeah. I'm using my arrow keys. Um, I could have moved it, you know, half if I wanted to. I can change that. That's the step grid for how, how much each arrow key is going to step. Um, oh, no, I'm using these. So, justify, justify. The top was four, right? One, two, three, four. So I got to move it another one. This one, hey, that one might actually be justified already. Boom. Oh, no, not quite. There we go. One, two, three, four. We'll put it opposed. And then five. Um, 
So apparently I made a whole bunch of extras. That's okay. So there is um, what I designed. Now, how do I make the other ones from that? Um, well, obviously the the cross is just two of them, one rotated. Um, this is I cut off. I used a hole and um, cut off part of it, and then um, center and slide justified. Um, you know, did two of those cut off pieces together, um, and all the others are two of the cut off pieces together. But with with like the obtuse angles, I actually cut off more um, than I think I cut off. Remember, this centerpiece is five by five. I think I cut off like two and a half of the centerpiece. I literally cut this in, this whole thing in half. Um, because when sticking these two parts together, you're going to create a bigger um, centerpiece. So I wanted, I didn't want to be like an extra large centerpiece there. Um, and then the final step is, you know, sticking a cylinder for like the, the acute angles. Um, sticking a cylinder on the end to make them round. Didn't have to. That's the other one, the originals did, so I thought I would. I probably shouldn't have. But. So there is my idea. Now how to scale it up and find people to help because um, I think of the print of six, I, I didn't originally print the uh, 45 135. A print of six takes like an hour and a half on my printers. I have an Ender 3 Pro and a uh, Dremel 3D20. Um, and I'm trying different settings. You know, 100% infill. It doesn't look like 100% on one of my printers. 20% um, infill. The time is not that different because these things are so small. I'm trying to figure out the walls, though. That's been my problem. Because um, one of the printers is not looking right. Um... So it takes about an hour and a half. I'm thinking um, 10 of each piece. So that would be an hour and a half times 10. Um, so that's 15 hours. And then I'm thinking um, 200 families for my spot. Um, and how much filament does it use? Um, the six that I've printed take um, 10 grams of filament again it doesn't take that doesn't take much for each individual um 10 grams of filament which means it's 100 grams per family set um and so these only take like another one or two to probably two or three um grams so yeah the, the material cost is like two to three dollars per uh, family set so there's my idea Take it, run with it, do something with it. Bye.